Hey, our signs. It's going to be a reading for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Just a mini love reading for the weekend for you guys. Remember, these are general. They're not going to resonate with everybody. So first card, Taurus. Second card, Virgo. Third card, Capricorn. And the bottom is the overall energy. Earth signs. In love from now until December 10th. In love. What's going on with Earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In love from now until December 10th. First card is Taurus. Second card is Virgo. Third card is Capricorn. One more, guys. Alright, overall energy for all earth signs is the Queen of Cups reversed. Sure to you upright. Queen of Cups reversed, all about love, okay? Could be a water sign, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but this is all about, you know, maybe being over emotional, maybe, you know, expressing your emotions. Possibly someone being emotionally manipulative within love, okay? This is definitely all about love, alright? And it's not looking too good when it is reversed, alright? So that is the overall energy for all earth signs. Could be someone that even takes on watery energy. So first card is Taurus. Second card is Virgo. Third card is Capricorn. Wow, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Some of you guys may be definitely standing your ground, or whoever you're dealing with is definitely standing their ground, standing up for what, what, they're, what they believe in. Um, definite water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but a lot of fire energy for you guys. Holy shit. Okay, so Taurus, we have the Five of Wands reversed. So coming out of conflict, coming out of inner conflict, coming out of feeling like there's competition or fighting or battling it out with people. This could be with your lover, whoever you're involved with, your husband, your boyfriend, friends, family, coming out of fighting, coming out of conflict. All right, and this is what it looks like upright for you guys. A lot of fire energy. Holy Toledo. So that's Taurus. So, got the Queen of Cups reversed. Could be a water sign, but it could be someone expressing their emotions that they want to come out of conflict. They don't want to fight anymore. You know, they're just done. Or somebody could be emotionally manipulating a situation to get out of the, all this conflict and this inner conflict. Or somebody could be really, you know, releasing their emotions and getting out all that inner conflict. Or you could be involved with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that is expressing, you know, that they want to, you know, stop fighting, not be in conflict anymore. It could go vice versa, Taurus. Anybody anybody so it may be getting out of conflict within love as well could also be with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius for taurus so virgo we've got the four of wands guys stability commitment possible marriages celebrations very well could be with an aries leo sagittarius or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There may be someone that's expressing their emotions about how they want some stability. Or there could be, you know, somebody emotionally manipulating a situation where they want stability. Or someone overall just expressing that they want stability in their life. They want a long-term commitment. They want love. 
they want to open up to love. Or maybe this is, you know, a sign that Virgo, you need to open up to love. Could be with a fire sign, could be with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. These are quick mini mini readings. So, Capricorn, you have got the Ace of Wands, baby. Look at how beautiful that is. Ace of Wands. So, new creation, new growth, new passionate energy. New passionate energy. Very well could be with an Aries, Zeo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. It could be any of these signs that I named. Could be sun, moon, or rising in somebody else's chart. But new creation, new growth. And you might be putting love aside right now and focusing on something else. This could also be... You know, someone expressing that they want new growth, new passionate energy within a relationship. Could be a water sign, or it could be a fire sign. Or this could be someone, you know, kind of, you know, emotionally imbalanced, you know, sucking someone's energy and trying to manipulate someone into wanting a second chance or giving a second chance here. Let's see. So, this could, yeah. Yeah. And for Taurus, there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that's emotionally manipulative and just like causing conflict, and, and you don't want to deal with it, Taurus. But for Virgo, you know, there may. Someone may be expressing their emotions, you know, and wanting long-term commitment. It doesn't have to be these signs, but we're going to clarify. Clarify for all Earth signs from now until December 10th. In love. Earth signs. In love from now until December 10th. the five of wands reversed for Taurus for love why is the five of wands reversed for Taurus in love okay so you may be receiving there could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius involved as well but you may be receiving a message, a harsh, truthful message, or you could be delivering one. It could be to an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone may deliver, you know, a harsh message to someone, a very harsh, truthful message. All right, pages are all about messengers, about wanting to come out of this conflict, not wanting to fight anymore. Okay, and there also could be a water sign involved here too that may be expressing their emotions and somebody's a little emotionally detached. So it's like needing to come out of this inner conflict, you know, and kind of, you know, make a decision that's emotionally fulfilling. Interesting, Taurus. Interesting. But it's like somebody's still ready for battle. Somebody's still ready for battle here. Be careful with this as well because somebody could be, you know, manipulating a situation emotionally and with their words. But this is truthful. So somebody could be expressing their emotions very harshly. And it's just like somebody wants to just come out of the conflict and not, not deal with it. So we've got water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for Taurus. All right, so let's see what's going on with Virgos. Why is the Four of Wands here for Virgos? All right, yes. For some of you guys, it could be an Aries. could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could have been commitment with either a water sign or a fire sign. 
or an Aries and somebody's just not ready to take that risk and have a stable commitment with someone. Somebody's just not ready to take that risk right here, Virgo. Um, somebody, Virgo, oh yeah, somebody could definitely be emotionally manipulating a situation, Virgo. It could be a Capricorn or it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or an Aries Leo Sagittarius that is trying to get away with some sneaky behavior. Um, this could be lying, stealing, cheating, trying to get away with some, some type of sketchy behavior here. Could also be Capricorn too, Virgo. Definite toxic energy here. It could be somebody that you are married to or that you had stable commitment with that may want a second chance, but it's like somebody's doing some manipulative, you know, crazy shit. And it's definitely a toxic, toxic situation that somebody is stuck in. Alright, so let's see. Capricorn. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Capricorns? Why is the Ace of Wands here for Capricorns? For love. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Capricorn? Ten of Wands. Okay. So yeah, someone may definitely, it very well could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that may be expressing that they want new creation. Or you guys could be expressing this as well. Or somebody could be wanting a second chance here. Somebody could be confessing that they want a second chance with someone. Very well could be you guys as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you're looking a little unstable right here with whoever this person may be. Very well could be another earth sign. It could be oh, this water sign. It could be a fire sign. Let's see. I'm going to check the overall energy for you guys. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for love? Why is this the overall energy for Earth signs? Page of Cups reversed. Okay. So somebody is offering love and they are not being serious about it. They're being, they're being very immature. They could also be very deceitful somebody's communicating that they want love here somebody's definitely communicating that they want love some of you guys could be involved with a gemini as well but earth signs somebody definitely needs to follow their intuition could be a gemini or a pisces that you guys are involved with as well somebody definitely needs to follow their intuition there could be secrets coming out as well and there definitely needs to be a head over heart decision made about this relationship. So let's go over this again. So page of cups. So all earth signs. You may be getting a message from a water sign. Definite Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They are not being truthful, okay? They could be an energy vampire, sucking energy. They could be over emotional, not stable not using their intuition correctly, off balance, all right? They are not being serious within this love offer. And Taurus, you could be dealing with a water sign, an air, an air sign, and a fire sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There may be messages back and forth here, you know, someone's being misleading within love, either to a water sign or from a water sign it looks like there's definitely two people involved here an air sign and a water sign for Taurus and somebody just like wants to come out of this conflict and and, and needs to make a head over heart decision about who it is they want it's like one person's very emotionally detached ready for battle you know not ready to stop fighting but somebody just wants to come out of conflict for Taurus for Virgo there definitely could be a water sign a fire or a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius Cancer Pisces Scorpio that is offering love and it's not stable 
it is not stable and somebody is not going to take a risk. Somebody's definitely going to use their intuition and not take a risk into the unknown because with the Page of Cups reversed, they are not being serious about it. They are lying. They are being emotionally manipulative. So with Capricorn here, whoever is offering love, they're just being immature about it. They're not being serious here. And this is definitely, you know, emotional manipulation, draining someone of their energy, you know, not expressing their emotions in the correct way. And someone may be expressing this to you and it may look like, you know, this beautiful new second be second chance or new beginning, new passionate new beginning, new growth within a relationship, within a new relationship or a current relationship. And someone may be confessing this or someone is just going to drop somebody. Just drop someone. Let's see. I'm going to clarify for Capricorn one more time. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed for Capricorn? Okay, so somebody is indecisive on what to do, Capricorn. Somebody is definitely indecisive. They may have two different choices here to make. You know, do I stay with this person? Do I not? It could go vice versa. Your partner could be thinking this as well. Um, not knowing what to do here. Not knowing what to do. But someone's not communicating correctly for Capricorn. They're not, they're being immature. They're sucking someone dry, you know, emotionally. And it's just not a good thing here. And since I clarified Capricorn, I'll clarify everybody else. Let's see, Taurus. Why is the Page of Swords here for Taurus? Oh, you got two of them. Okay, so definitely one night stand energies, Taurus. You could be dealing with a water sign, fire sign, another earth sign. <laughs> All signs here, Taurus. One night stand type energies that's not leading to a long term commitment, Taurus. And somebody just wants to come out of the conflict here. But you could be receiving messages from a water sign that is is being immature and lying and deceitful and emotionally manipulative or you could be receiving messages from a gemini libra aquarius that's kind of cold detached ready for battle here and somebody's just not taurus somebody's just not following through on their promises and not you know there for the long term for for taurus all right so why is the fool here reverse for virgo why is the Fool reversed for Virgo? Yeah, someone's just not talking right now, Virgo. This could be you or your partner. Somebody may not be explaining, you know, how they really feel here. Somebody could be keeping, but it's like somebody's trying to emotionally manipulate a situation here. But somebody wants, it could be a water sign or an Aries or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or a Sagittarius or Leo that wants a stable commitment, but I don't think they're expressing it or somebody's not expressing that they don't want this stable commitment with somebody else. Yeah, somebody's getting out of it. Somebody does not want this. And for Capricorn, somebody's just confused, you know, do I give this person a second chance or I don't know what to do. This is very indecisive card, very indecisive card. And you guys could be involved with a water sign, fire sign, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I've got. So we're going to go to the Romance Angels and see what do Earth signs need to know in love. All Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do they need to know in love from now until December 10th? We've got very soon and on the bottom we have true love. So very soon it says clearly decide what you want so that it, so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what you want and then we have true love. So this is a romance of a lifetime. So let's clarify true love for earth signs. What is this true love here for earth signs? 
All right, some of you, it could be an Aquarius, okay? But healing, okay? Having hope and faith and healing. Healing and coming out of feeling like <clears throat> someone's stressed out and they can't sleep at night, you know, wondering what if, coming out of that energy, having hope and faith and healing this these relationships. That's what I'm seeing. Some of you guys could be involved with an Aquarius as well. But definitely seeing someone, okay, definitely seeing someone standing their ground. Someone standing their ground and fighting for what they want. And we have someone else not standing their ground and fighting for what they want. So, it looks like for Earth signs, people are on different pages than than the rest right now. But that's all I've got for you guys. I hope this helped. <clears throat> I hope you guys are able to get through these energies and I'll be coming out with mid-month readings shortly for all the signs. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Thank you so much.